So I went to Target today and I purchased this Dr. Till's Shea Sugar Scrub with essential oils. It smells so good. I can't wait to use it. Good for exfoliating and it helps relax you too because it has magnesium in it. Magnesium is amazing for resting the muscles as well as just, you know, helping you to wind down at the end of the day. I also got the Dr. Till's Lavender Bubble Bath too. So I'm going to be trying that later also. Um, and then this mask, I'm not familiar with by Pacifica. Um, it's a vegan, you know, Pacifica is a vegan company. And this is a super green detox facial mask. So this looks interesting. I never, um, I've never done a facial mask before. Um, the masks that I usually do are like the creams that you rub on your face, let it harden, then, you know, rinse it off. So the ones I'm used to doing is like the Queen Helena. And then there's another one I have that's like a pink clay mask. It has my face like really glowing when I do that mask. I try to do it like twice a week because um, I have combination skin. So my skin tends to be a little bit oily and acne prone. So I try to get things that are not going to dry me out, but they're actually going to like pull the gunk out of my pores while not actually, while still giving me a glow. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try this later and hopefully it'll be something that I can, you know, put in my regimen more often. Sometimes I'm afraid to like use different things because like I said, my skin is acne prone. So I try to stick to the same things, but this looks like it's going to be good. Kale and charcoal detox, detox facial mask. Yeah. Charcoal is good for detoxifying. I use the Bior um, detoxifying scrub. But I try to only use that like once a week because if you exfoliate your skin too much, it will cause you to break out. And I know you would think that, you know, exfoliating and taking the dirt out of your pores would actually help you if you do it more often. But your skin, the skin on your face is so sensitive that you don't really have to scrub your face every single day because then you're peeling off the oils in your skin that are actually helping to rejuvenate you and actually have help you to have that, you know, healthy layer of skin. It took me a long time to learn that because I was thinking I can scrub the acne away, but actually I was making it worse. So when it comes to dealing with your face, especially when you have acne prone, more oily skin, you want to use like a light non-fragrance cleanser. All I use on my face now is an unscented Dove soap. Um, I just glide a little bit of that on there and then I rub it in with a little cool water. And then I rinse it off with more ice cold water. Then I put my mask on. And after that, I put a little bit of witch hazel and then just pat my face dry. And that has helped me. I had acne all the way up until I was about 28 years old. And even now, I still have the remnants of having it all throughout my teen years and through my 20s. So it took me a while up until I got into my 30s to realize what works for me. So you have to figure out what works for you. But yes, I think this mask is going to be good. It has cilantro and green tea too. So I'll tell you all how it worked out. And you should go to Target and check it out for yourself if you have, you know, more oily, acne prone skin. But yeah, I can't wait to use this here because it smelled so amazing when I opened it up. Here, let me see if I can open it. Well, actually, I can't open it while I'm holding my phone. But if you go to Target, you will see just how amazing it smells. Um, I buy this kind of stuff often. This is my first time using Dr. Till's. But like I said, my point of this is not only to promote the product, but to also remind us as women that we have to do things that pamper ourselves. You know, take time to buy your oils, buy your creams, buy your scrubs, whatever you need to do or get to make yourself feel pampered and to make yourself and keep yourself in that soft feminine space. Do that. I can't believe that there are some women who actually get out the shower and they don't even put lotion on their bodies because they're too busy to put lotion on. As women, it shouldn't be that way. We should always make time for ourselves, and that includes pampering our bodies, listening to our bodies, because it's so very important. You only get one body, and you want to live and be as youthful, as vibrant, and you want to just stay in that soft feminine space. So get things that are going to help you to do that. Can't wait to use this later. Like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos. Um, I post often. And um, 
I talk about all things. This is a femininity content channel, but it's also just for women. So this will include, you know, living as your gentler, softer self, but it will also include just practical everyday things to be a better woman. All right. Take care.